Hey, what is up guys? Last episode, we have created a jump and also a double jump. In this one, we're going to lock our jump. So see how you can go from left to right in the middle of your jump? We're actually going to lock this a little bit so we can um, we cannot move while we're jumping. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our player script. And in there, we are going to change things a little bit. So um, first thing we'll do, we'll, we'll declare a new uh, field up here, right below move vector. So we're going to declare a private vector 3, and we'll call this last motion. And um, this is pretty much going to copy the movement we were supposed to have. So if we take this to go down there at the really bottom of our update, you see how this vector over here is being stored inside of move vector and then we use that to move. Well after doing the move we're gonna say last motion is equal to move vector. And the reason we do this is because every frame uh, move vector is being reassigned to something. Now what we want to do is we're going to take this and actually change it a little bit so we'll comment this line up and we'll go right on top of uh, our function up here and we'll say move vector is equal to vector3.0. So now every single frame we reset, we reset this to 0 and we have to set it back um, to what it's supposed to have. So take your move vector and where we commented our lane we're gonna say move vector.x is equal to input direction move vector.y is equal to vertical velocity. So we pretty much end up uh, with the same exact thing we had last time. So this one controls if you're going left or right, and this one controls the uh, movement on the vertical axis. What we want to do is we want to take this and actually only put it inside the is grounded um, condition. So whenever our character is grounded, then we're going to allow him to move left or right depending on which direction you're pressing on the keyboard. Now, if we are not pressing on, well, if we are not grounded, we don't want this to run, so this is at the right place. But we still need something to control are you going left or are you going right while you're in the air. So down here, we're going to say move vector.x is equal to last motion.x. So what happens now, it's going to copy the uh, last direction you had when you, before you were jumping. So let's try this out, see if everything works fine. Press play. And if you start to move, and you try to move in the air right now, it doesn't work anymore. You can still do the double jump, but when you're jumping, you can't move from um, left to right or right to left. So this is pretty much what we wanted, actually. So already completed this episode. That's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy, please leave a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, I'll see you next time.